If the stable manifold is all of the points that go towards a fixed point as time passes, you might expect the unstable manifold to be all the points that go away from the fixed point as time passes. It's actually a little more complicated than that. The definition of the unstable manifold of a fixed point is almost identical to the definition of the stable manifold. In fact, there's only one difference, and it's right here. Instead of letting time go to infinity, we let time go to negative infinity. So let's look again at a saddle. We'll say this is a linear system. This fixed point is the origin, zero, zero. And the origin is a saddle. The saddle is unstable, and yet its unstable manifold is quite small. Like if you look at points on this trajectory, as time passes, these points move away from the origin but they're not on the unstable manifold. Because if you have a point on this trajectory, say you start here and you reverse time, you do not converge to the origin. You go up this way. The unstable manifold of this fixed point is precisely this line. If you have a point on this line, it goes straight away from the origin. And if you reverse time, it goes straight towards the origin. So the unstable manifold is all of the points on this line. Let's remind ourselves that the stable manifold is all of the points on this line and leave you with the following thought. We might think of stable and unstable as being opposites of each other, but it is possible to be on both the stable and the unstable manifold. The origin ma um, manages that feat. When we're looking at linear systems, the stable manifold and the unstable manifold are only ever going to intersect at a single point, as we see here. If they enter and they will intersect at that point. I misspoke. The fixed point itself is on both the stable and unstable manifolds. With non-linear differential equations, you can see a variety of behavior.